week two. Um, didn't really do much Saturday and Sunday because, well, it was the weekend. Today we're working on the truck. Um, I got some parts for the truck today. Um, just some mechanical issues, uh, brake booster, uh, a multifunction switch, my wipers didn't work, so I figured I'd probably ought to fix that before I head out. Um, so right now, I am just peeling off some Velcro. Uh, this bed I got from a junkyard, the one that was originally on the truck. It had been in an accident. Somebody, I think, backed into it probably in a parking lot, just a little fender bender. But it was also rusted out really bad. Whoever had it before me had a bed liner in it and they fastened it with Velcro. freaking tailgate fell off. Looks like it just fell off right just off the back here and probably rolled into the yard. Figure that out later. My plan for right now, I cleaned out the bed of the truck. My plan now is to get some rubber matting, uh, just like some maybe half inch, three quarter thick uh, rubber mat and stick in the bottom or on the floor here. Ooh. I went inside before I did this to get my razor knife. And I was just going to cut it like that. And Jake mentioned he had a Sawzall that I could borrow. And I was like, awesome. That's going to make it so much better. And that's, that little chunk is from the Sawzall at about like a minute full blast. <laughs> and it's weird. It's weird. In theory, the axe would work much better. Shout out to Ethan, Cassie Electric. He got me hooked on this stuff, guys. Master Force. <clears throat> best of the best. What can I say? Did a good job on this rubber, I will tell you that. Looking at it now, I don't know why I made this cut. I guess just for practice, guys. You know, practice reps, uh, they add up. I'm glad I ended up doing the like diagonal cuts. It looks a lot better. Um, still not perfect, but a lot better than it would have been way out here and over. So we have a little overlap here. I'm just gonna, the best way I found to do this, um, and it's probably not the best way, but it's the best way that I found. Uh, I kind of just trace where I need to cut, just eyeball it. And then I'll come back in with my razor knife. It cuts pretty good, really. If I can kind of pull it up with one hand and then, you know, you know how it goes. You... I'm still debating on if I want to use one big sheet of plywood, just like I did with the rubber, install the plywood just the same way. I've decided to go ahead and get all my hardware, like my diesel heater and my all my solar equipment. I decided to go ahead and get all that so I can kind of build around it um, instead of building everything out and then, you know, realize that I don't have enough room for uh, my fridge or something. Even though I think now, since I have a sliding glass, I think I'm gonna install a, it's a little rough, it needs, it needs the tracks need cleaned out I think, but I'm gonna install a sliding bed glass on my truck so I could pretty much just stick my arm through and get anything on my fridge that I needed to and save room in here. You know, uh, well, I think it looks a lot better on camera than it does in person, but uh, I mean, yeah, buddy, that looks pretty good, honestly. Uh, just a couple little things I had to notch out here and there, but all in all, guys, it turned out really well. I've got my solar coming in soon. I've got my diesel heater coming in soon. Um, my fridge and my insulation for this thing. So there is a lot to do. I've not built anything out like this before, so I'm kind of just rolling with it. Uh, lots of YouTube, lots of Google. <laughs> neighbor's moment so hopefully it's not too loud uh, and you can still hear me okay but 
either way, out here, uh, I got some cardboard cut. This is just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm thinking uh, and kind of the point of using the cardboard. Um, so basically, I cut it to the dimensions that I have in my bed. This cutout is for the bed. Uh, it is 24 inches wide, so it's only two feet. Uh, it doesn't leave me a lot of room, so I might make it a little wider. Since this is a Ranger, uh, I don't have a lot of bed space. Uh, it's, it's a six foot bed. It's about 55 inches wide. So I've really got to make use of what I've got. So. I figure this is a pretty good way to do it. Um, I kind of just cut out the cardboard to the, the dimensions that I'm thinking and throw it in the truck and kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like. I can't believe this thing's still cutting after all that all that rubber I cut with it yesterday. I don't know where I put my blades, so I guess I'll just keep breaking this one. The Amazon guy did stop at my place and drop me off some goodies. I am a happy boy, happy camper. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but it is late October, almost November, and I am in a tank top. Okay, so, I've got some more ideas. Uh, show you guys what I got going on. So, I've decided I was gonna have like a fresh water storage and then a faucet, so like a water pump. But I've decided it would be probably easier and just as efficient and effective to get one of the like water cooler jugs and get, they make little pumps that you can just stick in the top um, of those jugs and just almost like a faucet, just use that uh, to pull water from the jug. I'll probably end up doing that just now that I'm thinking about it. I'll probably put the water back towards the back, make it easier to uh, plug a new one in when I run out. And then I'm gonna have my cook, like uh, food prep and, and oven cooktop right here in the middle. And then back here I have, let me zoom out a little bit for you guys. Yeah, it might be better for perspective. Um, back here, I've just got storage. I plan on building like a shelving unit up through here. Um, not a huge one. I don't want to block a lot of my window space over here just because, you know, that's kind of the beauty of this shell is that it's got a lot of windows um, and places to look out, which I really like. This is almost like a nightstand. It, uh, it functions as kind of like a nightstand. Um, so this will be at the same height as my bed. I've also decided to be nice to make my bed um, it's almost like it's on a hinge so I can incline it um, just so I can set up and eat or whatever um, that'd be nice I could just have my bed double as a little lounge spot it's all about being efficient and uh, using your space and it's a lot to think about you can have a vision in your mind but making it actually there um, can be a little bit tougher we'll make it happen By far the best chips on the market, guys. I'm not sponsored by Zaps, but uh, I just gotta, you know, shout them out. I'm gonna keep munching on these guys. It's a wrap for today. Um, I'm gonna go listen to some tasteful music. My little sister is performing. What is going on, fam? I got some big news today. That's right, dun, 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 the diesel heater came. Check it out. I think that's where it's gonna go in the truck. But look at all this hardware. That's just for the heater, guys. Um, so I've gotta figure out where to put all this stuff and how to make it work. Okay, I might be crazy, but doesn't this seem just so convenient? I mean, it just fits right. It just fits right in there. This might be the move. For reference, here's my here's my gas filler cap right here. And the tank sits right here on the inside. So just put a little fill nozzle right here and I could just 
fill up with gas, pop it out, fill up with diesel right there. Hmm. I think we might have to make this work. If I can get it up and over maybe a little bit, because I've still got lines that I've got to run out of the bottom. So I don't want my lines hanging way down here, but uh, you know, I don't need a lot of space for that line to come out and turn up. So I think this is gonna work guys. Okay, we just got to Lowe's. Um, I'm gonna hop out and try to find some sealant. I'm gonna be drilling some holes for the exhaust and intake of the diesel heater. So I'm gonna seal that up. I like the, uh, the open layout, to be honest. I kind of like that natural light. Got the window out. All the old uh, putty and caulking off and then redo it. So, um, yeah, it's exciting, guys. I think I'll probably take the tint off this window. Also, it's really bubbly and it just kind of looks nasty. It's really easy to get out. That's That makes me happy. It is Thursday. Okay, so I've got all the old weather stripping off. It was like this kind of foam stuff all the way around the outside. Uh, I've got some uh, expandable foam weather strip, half inch by half inch, so hopefully it does the job. And then put on a seal of this, shout out Jake, clear adhesive seal. Oh. Hmm. Two hands for this one. Check it out, maximum airflow. Love it. Peeling off this old weather stripping because it is needle junky. It's pretty much what I'm doing right now, guys. Cleaning up the seal and then I've got some new weather stripping put on there and also some caulkings. This one's a lot crustier than the other one. Glad I pulled this off. This is looking rough. You might say the grind never stops. Also, pretty happy with how the spray paint job turned out. It's a quick little upgrade there. It makes it look a lot better. Spray paint goes a long way. All right, guys. I realize I say all right, guys, a lot. I'm sorry you have to hear that so many times. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take this off now so I can use the bags for this one because I don't really want to go back inside and get more. Oh, I hate that. Man, screw this. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a thin bead of this 
adhesive. Oh boy. All right, there we go. We had a little, little blockage or something. It was uh, requiring all my strength. I'm not the strongest, but that was uh, a malfunction for sure. Not too shabby. Here's the outside. Still bummed you guys can't jam out with me. It's a shame. Yeah? Okay, okay, pop off. For a kid with a rattle can and some foam. I mean, I've gotta pack stuff up. Uh, got a family thing, so. I try to keep the camera rolling as much as I can and catch as much of the process as I can. I don't know. I'm trying to think from the point of view of somebody that's trying to do it themselves or wants to do it and wants to just see what it's actually like. I have no clue what I'm doing. When I was first intre like getting interested in it, in it can't talk, um, I was looking for videos and build series that were realistic. You know, I, I, there's plenty of people out there that can go buy a, a $50,000, $60,000 rig. I'm working with like a, a $2,000 uh, Ford Ranger and a camper shell that I picked up for 175 on Facebook Marketplace, you know. And for some people, that's what it's going to have to be, you know. Uh, you can't afford something big and fancy, although it'd be awesome. All right, guys, it is Future Brady once again. I feel like I always find a way to sneak in when I'm editing these videos because I feel like I never make an outro. So, guys, I actually get a lot of film for week two, um, so I'm probably going to split it into two parts. Part one is probably going to be the windows and um, some of the planning, and then part two is mainly going to be the diesel heater, I'd say. But, yeah, I was really surprised at how much film I actually got to make this video. Um, it's been a lot of editing, so I hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit. Also... I don't know what I was talking about there at the end. I'm not like throwing shade at anybody that, that pays for a, a nice setup. Um, if you can afford it, that is awesome. I've seen some amazing builds on YouTube and it's sweet. But I'm, I think the point I'm trying to make is you can do it on a budget too. And that's my goal. Also, because I, I am future Brady, the Powerball that's up over $2 billion at this point, um, the winning numbers are 36 17.